Welcome back to Consumer Labs. Remember we said we're going to walk around the vest. We're going to check it out and see how it does as far as heat dis dissipation is concerned. Well, here we are. We're going to do it right today. So what I'm going to do today, guys, by the way, please forgive me for the video, the editing of this video. We're doing this live. We're going to go to the gym. We're going to go to work. And we're going to see exactly how this, this vest plays out. By the way, this is Safe Life Vest. Um, this is the plus version, right? This is the armor vest, bulletproof resistant vest. And we want to see how well it does under just normal daily activity. Can you really wear this? Can you wear this vest on a normal day? And will it, you know, work out? I mean, can I, can I really wear it? Can I wear it and not overheat and not over sweat and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to be adding a couple of sensors to this vest. Uh, underneath it, measuring our body temperature as we go along throughout our day. So with that being said, let's get started. So now started. in order to get an accurate reading as far as the temperature underneath the vest, we're going to use a device by LabQuest 2. And um, what this device is going to allow us to do is, it's going to allow us to basically take a accurate temperature, whether it's in Celsius or Fahrenheit, and it's got a data log in it too, I should say. That logging is going to be utilized to see how our temperature fluctuates throughout the day. While we're at work, while we're in the gym, you know, just daily activities. We want to see how the temperature is going to, you know, how our temperature is going to, you know, change throughout the day. And the way you could do that, the best way to do that is to have some type of log. And that's why we're using this particular device. So right now, so we got the vest on. We got a sweater on. Um, we're going to be wearing this sweater. To see how well we do, you know, temperature wise. Um, I mean, you can still see a little bit of the vest. You can see a little bit of the vest right here, even with the sweater on. But keep in mind, I'm also going to put my jacket on as well. And, um, you know, see how, how it works out. But yes, I mean, it's concealed, but you can still see a little bit of the outline here. And you can see a little bit up here, right? But nevertheless, it's not being displayed outside of the sweater. So let's go about our right, so day. So right now we got the, you know, we got the vest on, Safe Life vest on. And um, we're going to go through our daily, you know, daily journey today. We're going to go to work, you know, we're going to do what we got to do. We got some business appointments we got to take care of, you know. And then we're going to go. Consumer Labs, we did it. Yes, indeed, we did it. We worked out. We went to work. Went to the gym. We did the whole thing for the whole day, and wearing our body armor. This is my body armor made by Safe Life, and I'm gonna tell you right now. We're gonna tell you the results in a second, but I just want to let you know that I did everything. I worked my. I went to work. Got on the train. I went to work. Did my eight hours there. A little bit over eight hours there. Then from there, I went straight to the gym. I worked in the gym for 45 minutes, and I did everything. I mean, listen, I did everything. I did arms. I did back. I did legs. I did calves. I did, y'all, I did everything. I even worked on my bones. <laughs> I mean, I did it all. And, um, you know, and then after all that workout, of course, you got to go ahead and get that shake. If you don't get that smoothie, oh, my gosh, you will not recover. Well, that's, you know, we'll talk about that another time. But with that being said, I feel like, let me say, so how was the results? Let me just get to the point. Well, I'm going to tell you the honest truth. I used the data logger, which I showed you earlier, which is a device that measures your temperature. It's used for other things, too. It's got whole different types of features on it. But nevertheless, I used the device. I did a statistical analysis on it and seeing how the temperature fluctuated throughout my workout. And I can tell you right now, the temperature changed only by about, I would say during my workout with the vest on, the bulletproof vest on, my temperature, my body temperature changed. I'm talking about contact at that location, right? Um, only by about three degrees, three or four degrees, something like that. So that is magnificent. Now, keep in mind what I'm saying. I'm saying at the location where my body armor is, where my vest is at, 
that area right there, temperature only changed about three degrees. My whole core temperature is stayed the same at 97.6 or something like that. But at that location, it changed only by three degrees, which is excellent, which is basically nothing, which is what you would expect when you have something placed on your body. And keep in mind, look at all the clothing I am wearing. I have... I have this jacket on, I have another jacket on, I got a sweater on, I got my vest on, right? I got my body armor on, I got another shirt underneath that, and through all that workout with the vest on, temperature change is only by three degrees, three a little bit over three degrees. That is crazy. So do safe light vests work the way they said? Do it um keep yourself from overheating because of the way it's designed? I would say yes, because let me tell you something. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much, you know, technology I use to measure the temperature or get a, you know, get a, a great idea on how well this vest works. The bottom line is, how do you feel wearing the vest? Because that's really the end. At the end is, how do you feel wearing this vest? And I'm going to tell you the honest truth. It's not bad. Listen, you wear it, you're going to notice you wear it. It's not like, okay... You know, no one can make this say, oh, well, I'm putting this vest on and I don't notice that I'm even wearing a vest. I mean, like, <laughs> you'd be lying right then, right? I mean, I'd just be lying right there. But what I can say is that wearing this vest, it do not, it do not hinder me because I was able to do my full workout wearing this vest. I was able to do everything. It did not hinder me. It did not stop me from doing my sit-ups, my, my push-ups, my, my pull-ups, you know, bench, benching. Any of that, it did not hinder me doing any own type of exercise. So that in itself is a plus. Because remember, you're wearing a body armor. If I'm wearing this body armor, I want to make sure I can move around. Like I can move around. I can do what I have to do. I don't want to be restricted. And this body armor definitely do not restrict you. That's number one. Number two, the next thing is how well do it dissipate heat? How well do it allow my body to escape the heat, to let the heat, I should say, escape? And it does it very well. The design is a great design. And I'm being honest about that. It's a really, really good design. Now, the only thing I will say is that you can still, even with this sweater on and this vest here, you know, this is a different vest underneath. It's like a heated vest. I can say that you can still see without, I mean, when I open this up, right, I can see a little bit of the outline of the vest. You can see right here, I can still see a little bit of the outline of the vest. So here's my vest is on. But I can see a little bit of this outline, even with this here. And that's because, you got to keep in mind, this here is a plus version, right? This here is for actually stab proof as well, right? So it's a little bit, a little bit, little bit more bulkier. However, like I said, it does not restrict me from doing what I need to do. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. We did it. This is a live video. Please forgive me for the, any audio or any video, you know, imperfections, I should say. But we did it. So what's the conclusion? The conclusion is this. Can you work out with a body armor? Yes, you can. If you get the right type, right? You got to make sure you get the, the body armor that's going to fit you, right? That's the number one thing. You got to make sure the body armor fits you. If you get one that fits you, you should be fine. But only one I could justify, only one I can talk for right now is the Safe Light Vest. I'm not getting paid by them. They're not giving me no money. Not, they're not sponsoring me. I, but I can say at the end of the day that this vest is a great design and it works really well. So, once again, the number one criteria whenever you're buying body armor is that it's allow you to be mobile and it's able to allow your body to dissipate its heat. That way you don't feel uncomfortable. You don't feel like you're overheating. And I will say that um, this vest is great. It really is. With that being said, this is Consumer Labs. Stick with us. We're going to do more videos. We'll come back with you. Please subscribe. Until next time, you know what? We'll talk.